I really like this group. They've got a lot of integrity, a lot of class, and uh, they do show the spirits a lot of respect. So this is some pretty great uh, K2 evidence right here. Have a watch. Is there anybody from the Jolly family still here with us? Emma G, are you here with us? Wow. What are you still doing here, Emma? Are you trapped here? Can you make it go red if you're trapped here? Yes, you are trapped here. Would you like to cross over? Can you see the light? Is the rest of your family here? Can you make it go red if the rest of your family is here with us? You just, hey Emma, you can speak to me through the speaker. Can you do that for me, please? Here? I heard you, Emma. I appreciate you responding to me. The mean people keeping you here. They won't let you cross over. Is that what's happening? Does yellow mean I could stay? If you want me to stay, can you make this light green? Thank you. Are you okay with us being here? If you're not okay with us being here, can you light this up to red? So are you okay with us being here then? Thank you. Do you like having visitors here? If yes, can you make that light to yellow? Thanks. We appreciate it. This is a proper way to present your evidence. But I really like the way you did this. Good job. This right here is the pinnacle of my ghost hunting, the Jenny Wade House in Gettysburg. It was in September 2014. Uh, she was the only civilian to get killed in the Civil War by a Confederate, Confederate soldier. This is her right here. This is her house. And this is the verification that what I did capture in my pictures was actually Jenny Wade herself. This is picture one. We heard noises up the steps. So I snapped pictures of the steps. You see how the walls are nice and red and pink. Then picture two. You can see right here in the, behind the railing, there's a like a faded white face with bl black hair and then picture three there's a body standing up there at the top of the steps and this is her right here jenny wade you can see dark hair white around the collar dark hair white around the collar red dress this is the pinnacle right here of ghost hunting. It is important to share personal experiences that you're having with the crew so they know what's going on. What? We're leaving. What? Something just like touched my hair. I'm not even kidding. Like, I just felt like somebody just like did like this. Okay.
Add her to Black Ross. Um, Cabot PA. Add in Butler County. The one thing I would say is photographic evidence and photographs of where you've been are very, very important to show people. That is awesome that you did this. However, no music. Uh, it's more important that you explain what each each picture is about because you were there, we weren't. And so we'd like to know what it is that we're looking at. So if you would explain it, it would be much better. I heard this wall is the portal to hell. Is that true? Can you tell me why it is? Hey, what's up? This is Steven from Three Souls Paranormal. Just giving you a little insight of where to play, a couple of the places that we've been to um, on our ghost hunting adventures. Here's one right here, West Virginia Penitentiary, down in Minesville, West Virginia. This is Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, down in Western West Virginia. This is Hillview Manor, up in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. This is Ohio State Reformatory. At in Mansfield, Ohio, and this is Prospect Place at in Dresden, Ohio. It's right off of Route 666. Coincidence? Again, these are awesome pictures, but where are they? What do they represent? Um, where are you? What's with all the key tags? There's so many questions that we could ask. If you would answer them, it'd be great. Resource Paranormal here at White Gate Cemetery in Moundsville, West Virginia. This is the resting place of the prisoners um, from Moundsville Penitentiary. As you can see, Emily and Frank, they are taking pictures. They are they're getting ready for this daytime investigation here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And whenever we post this video, please like it and share it out. And we, we will be glad to answer any questions about it. All these markers of prisoners, people who did a lot of bad things to a lot of people. Oh, here's Harry Powers right here. Yep, he's right here. Here's Harry Powers. Right here. See, I can barely see. That's why. There's Harry Powers. Oh, yeah. Fucking scumbag. And during this video, I'll write a story on this part of the video about him. Just so you can see what this guy was about. Yeah, he's about slaughtering dozens and dozens of women. Yeah, he was not a very nice person. No. So, that's him. Tell us how you really feel, hon. Get away from me. Either Frank takes his pictures of Harry Power's grave, I think I might break out the spirit box or the K2 meter to see if we catch anything. There you go, I'll do the K2 meter real quick first. See, here we go. K2 meter. Harry Powers, are you still here with us? Did you get some pleasure out of murdering 55 women? Is there anybody in this cemetery willing to talk to us? Are you looking for Thomas Austin? Yeah. Found him. There's Thomas Austin. You're about to get the right on him. 
We're about to get Thomas Austin story right now. Emily got the information on him and she's gonna read off what he has done in his past life. You, if you want to show them that, here's the article. Article of Thomas Austin. Here it goes. Makes human torch of girl. Thomas Austin, Negro of Fort Brand, a mining settlement in the southern part of Monongahela County, was in jail here tonight, charged with having poured a gallon of gasoline on his 18-year-old daughter and then torching a match to her clothing. The child was in a Fairmont hospital, and doctor said she probably will not live. Police were informed that Austin became angry because of a remark made by his daughter. So he pretty much lit his fucking daughter on fire. And I have his death certificate here. He was never executed, but it says that he died of uh, cancer of the liver. I'll show you his death certificate. There you go. That's Thomas Austin's death certificate. So yeah, he was in Monsville Pen for lighting his daughter on fire. Chambers. Yeah, James Chambers was hung. James Chambers was an so execution let me find him prisoner. on the execution list. James Chambers. I don't have an age. Black male convicted of murder and rape. He was hung on March 30th, 1945. Oh, yep. three thirty forty-five. Yep. He was hung. That's Three Souls Paranormal, people. Uh, I like them. I hope you do, too. Make sure to check them out. Thank you.